Here are a few Lightroom shortcuts you may not know about. First is cropping. You hit R to go to the crop window, hit R again to exit it. When you're in the crop window, you can hold option to choose a frame at your current aspect ratio. It's gonna reframe that for you. And you can hold command to choose a line to become your horizon. That's one window. Holding shift and then R allows you to choose a reference frame. If you have collections set up, you can go to a collection, choose another image from that film strip, and now you have a reference image to uh, kind of balance your colors against. If you want to get rid of this, double tap R to bring up the crop window and drop the crop window as well. If you hold Shift W, you bring up your masking panel. Now inside your masks, you can go K for a brush. As you start brushing, if you want to remove something, hold Option and you can start erasing. If you hold M or press M, you can have a linear gradient. If you go shift then M, you can have a radial gradient. Now, outside of masking, if we hit Q, we open up the spot uh, removal tool. And there's a little question mark up here that has a fair few more shortcuts for this window that you can use. If we want to go back to our library tab, we can hit E and we go back to the loop mode. We can hit tab to open up our side panels and we can hit G to go to grid view. Now you may see all of these little flags that I have down here. What I do with my images is I flag them using the little tilde icon, which is to the left of number one. Remove and flag as pick. If you hit X instead, it sets it as rejected. And if you're in the library mode, you can go command and backspace and you can remove rejected photos from collections. If you want to get rid of photos altogether, you need to be in a folder tab. Let's hit this one as rejected and then back uh, command backspace allows you to remove it from Lightroom or delete the photos from your disk altogether. Now, outside of that, there's two more I want to show you. Inside develop, we can hit D to go to develop. We can hit W to choose a white balance target, which could be some of this white water. It's not quite right, so we're going to undo that. And then our last one is command shift E, which brings up the export panel. And with all that, you may need to go back and watch a few times. Shortcuts will be in the description. Hope you have fun with it. Hope it helps you increase your efficiency in Lightroom.